In this session, we'll be discussing about the details of botanical gardens. We've already discussed about herbaria, which was for plants, and even what you call the botanical gardens are for plants. Both of these are the taxonomic aids for conservation or preservation of plants. What we talked about in herbaria was preservation. We were conserving this, we were preserving some of the specimens right there. What were we doing is we were collecting the plant parts and preserving them. But botanical gardens are for conservation. Now, when you talk about conservation, there are two types of strategy follows, which is X C2 or N C2. X is out, C2 is habitat. When you take something out from the natural habitat to some limited boundary and you try to conserve that particular specimen or plant part or animal there, you call it as ex situ conservation. While conserving something on its plates, it's called in situ conservation. So botanical gardens are the mean of ex situ conservation. If you can talk about in situ conservation, you must have heard about national parks. So national parks, we don't take animals out of the out of their natural habitat. We conserve them right there, which is called in situ conservation. But here, what are we doing is we are taking out the plants from their natural environment and we are trying to grow those plants in a particular boundary, which is called ex situ conservations. So what do we do here is like plants will be identified, they will be labeled. And once you will be labeling them, you will be presenting the name of their family and all. And then you will be placing them into the botanical gardens. Some of the very famous botanical gardens are Royal Botanical Garden, which is at Kew, England. We have already talked about the herbaria of Kew, which is Royal Botanical Gardens herbaria. Now the Royal Botanical Garden is the one among the biggest botanical gardens in the world. India's biggest botanical garden is Indian Botanical Garden, Kolkata, which was also harboring if you can talk about the herbarium, if we have seen the earlier slide, we have talked about the herbaria. So Indian Botanical Garden basically takes care of Central National Herbaria. So Central National Herbaria and Indian Botanical Garden are in Kolkata. Indian Botanical Garden is also famous for one very important thing which is called Big Banyan Tree. Big Banyan Tree is, if you can see, is that big that its branches are spread in the range of one kilometer. And if we can talk about the interesting fact, the main trunk of that particular big banyan tree is not there. The main trunk is being eaten up by termites, so how that particular plant is standing now. So that particular plant is standing with the help of prop roots, they are adventitious roots. If we can talk about National Botanical Garden, Lucknow, which has been taken care by National Botanical Research Institute, Lucknow. Now sometimes they would ask you where is National Botanical Garden located, or sometimes they would ask you where is NBRI, which is National Botanical Research Institute located. Now National Botanical Research Institute NBRI which is in Lucknow is one among the premier CSIR laboratories. You should know about what is CSIR. CSIR stands for Council for Scientific and Industrial Research. To work in various scientific fields there are, there are various localizations of these committees are done like you must be knowing about ICR which is Indian Council of Agriculture Research, ICMR Indian Council of Medi Medical Research and CSIR which is Council for Scientific and Industrial Research and one among the CSR laboratories which is there in Lucknow is National Botanical Research Institute which is harboring National Botanical Garden. There are some more botanical gardens like Liliot Botanical Garden is one among the famous garden which is at Darjeeling. You also have botanical gardens in Dehradun. Next class we will be detailing you about the details of zoological parks.